Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. All right, we're on day two of packing. Um, this is all the stuff that we pulled in that last video, packed and ready to go. And so now we're ready to pull the rest of those orders. Yeah, this is um, this is Monday morning, by the way. And we pulled these last night. I didn't pack them till this morning. Uh, it did take me a little bit of time here. I spent a couple of hours packing all this stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna get this bagged up. Uh, we had a big sales weekend. Uh, gonna get this bagged up and then we have some more USPS stuff to pull and then we can pull, uh, we have a ton of UPS stuff to pull today too. Yep. So we're gonna have to just jump right into that because uh, it's gonna be a long day of packing for me. And Candace has uh, basically infinite stuff to list it feels like it anyway yeah I'm trying I'm trying to knock out I started on the brass figurines and some of those are pretty good if you see a brass armadillo pick it up what did you list our brass armadillo $35 for $35 and it's only like 5 inches long really they are crazy money I don't know what the deal is with them huh does oh, that's anybody awesome. know why people like brass armadillos I know mm -hmm. hmm so. Oh, um, for the USPS Ground Advantage, which started, today's the 10th, Monday the 10th. It started yesterday. Right. Um, yeah, we, we're we printing Ground Advantage, a ton of Ground Advantage labels here. Yep. No issues. Uh, it's pricing fine. Uh, it, the, the update on that, as far as I know, is now we have 30 days grace uh, change those first class to change our first class mm -hmm. package listings to ground advantage right uh so we'll come up with some come up with some method to since we have a month um maybe we we mess with a hundred of them a day or something, something like, like that. that yeah just kind of break it down instead of trying to do it all at once yeah yep yep so uh and i from what i heard in the reseller water cooler like um mercari and i think etsy they just automatically did it the switch for, for everything they so, did yeah that's what i that's the hearsay in the water cooler. i wonder if mercari i wonder if mercari is going to now change their shipping for stuff that is like two pounds three pounds whatever to ground advantage that would be huge for them i don't know if they realize they have a shipping problem there yeah or if they are just they know it and they're they're keeping so much extra money yeah, from that, overpayment that, on shipping like that mid-range poundage is just it's crazy expensive on mercari and then they have all these weird methods like like oh oh it's a two pound thing oh you need to use ups for that Right. Oh, a three pound thing? Oh, you need to go FedEx, this weird FedEx thing for that. It's like, yeah. have, just have some USPS options, please. Like right. some good ones. Yep. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's. we're going to get this out of here uh, and clear it off and pull some more stuff. Okay, we got all that stuff out there. Funny thing, we had, man, this killer weekend in sales. Um, talking to Candace we haven't sold anything since midnight last night yeah, like so 12, almost 12 hours yeah it's about 12 hours yeah like so we sold all the stuff and then boom <laughs> right which it is what it is yeah it is are you ready I'm ready let's go all right in the Joe drawer WWE day of reckoning for GameCube this yeah. only yeah and if y'all if y'all watch most of the videos you may realize that uh you've seen this sell before and you're not wrong if you think that uh, this got bought before, and then I did the video, and uh, then before I actually packed it up, it got canceled. So, yeah. uh, so canceled sold it, it again, and sold it again for the same price. Twenty dollars. All right, in the razor drawer, we I did a private listing for ten Walmart pens. Um, we did those for eighty plus ship. Okay. They're going to Canada, so we're going to ship those through pirate ship with the export rate simple export rate yep. yeah this is uh 10 pens in here yeah and before i actually pack these i'm i'm gonna go through them with you and just double check you think i need to or you feel i mean we can i have in the description i listed what each one is okay you know? um pocket 17 we have some toy money for 13 dollars and 76 cents pocket what 13 uh 17 17 <laughs> Oh, here it is right here you know what i think we sold 
this money for way more than the face value of the money. Probably so, because it's all like plastic and tin. Some of that goes to those old Tom Thumb um, cash registers and another brand. There's two different brands in there. Another brand in there is Whitman. Okay. So just some little vintage play coins. Whitman. Are, are they, uh, are the Whitman ones, they're not chocolate, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two Alpha. We sold um, a print uh, Fats Domino at Tipitina's New Orleans. Yeah, this is cool. What, it's two Alpha, right? Yeah, I got it. So, this print... You can see, it, it's actually just like we bought it. Yeah. I'm not going to ship it well, I'm going to keep it in here, but I'm not going to ship it in just this. Right. Um, you can see how we bought it at the garage sale. Yep. They actually had photos of it on the outside so you could see what it would look like. Yeah, it's signed by the artist, and we got 30 for it. Yeah. I don't remember what we paid. It wasn't I, I, much. It was really cheap. It was, it, it was, I think it was $5. Yeah. All right, next item is in the D&D &D drawer. Uh, yeah. Cross pen and pencil set. These are doing pretty well, which is good because we paid um, paid ten dollars for this. We paid yeah. five dollars for each. We each sold thing. that for thirty five. Okay. Yep. And then uh, pocket sixty six, a Digimon uh, figure. It's a little little fairy looking girl. Sixty six. Yeah. Okay. Right there. It's gonna be over here, I think. No. Uh oh. It's a pocket sixty six. Yeah. Well, I do see a fairy looking thing here. That's, That's not, not it, it, is it? No. Uh-oh. Okay. We've got a problem. This is not good. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to take a look. Yeah. All right, so we spent a few minutes here looking through these pockets, trying to figure out where the thing is. It's not in any of the pockets. I go over here, I'm like, well, maybe it fell down here. And when I'm looking over here, I see this. Is this the one, Candace? Is that it? Yep, that's our little girl. Oh my gosh, how lucky. I know. We are so what lucky. What are the odds that the one we were looking for fell out too? Uh, well, I'm glad pretty good because it wasn't in there. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It could have been like there's a couple hundred things in there. Okay, that's good because I did not want to cancel that little order. No. Oh my gosh. Because she sold for $27. I know. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. These fell out. We gotta put. I gotta put those back in the pockets. They okay. go in. Oh man. Let's do that real quick. Okay. In addition to this stuff, we also have. Uh, we just went through and figured out which Nutcrackers are um, are going USPS because they're not all huge Nutcrackers. We got some smaller stuff too. Right. The first one is on five Bravo dash R. It's a Mouse King. Blue. Five Bravo. It's right here. Yep. Oh, even I, I know. Five, even I can figure that out. That's cool. Yep. Look, look, he's got that uh he's got a leather rat tail coming around. You I see know. that? Yep. That's cool. Sell it him for 45. Okay. Five Charlie dash R uh Wait. Santa Nutcracker. Five Charlie R. Mm -hmm. I see a Santa Nutcracker right up front. That's the only one I see. Let's bring him over and see if he matches. Okay. Yep, yep that's yep, him. That's... Okay. All right, so him for $40.49. Okay. And then 10 Bravo, we have some little the little box set of three wise men okay i know i think i know what that is 10 bravo right here and these guys are in here i believe those sold for 157 dollars and 49 cents that's one of the ones you listed huh yeah i listed like the first day or two i listed some some i, I don't i thought i listed less than 20 things yeah probably about 10 things yeah, that, those are cool, those little box sets. Mm -hmm. That's right. it? That's going to be everything for USPS, so we'll get that ready for before the carrier gets here, and then we'll be ready to pull the big nutcrackers. I'll be ready to eat some lunch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we got all the USPS out. That's that was important because that's that's the only thing that has like a lot of time pressure to it. Um, UPS stores open how late, Candace? So like seven, I think. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I, I could just chill, not chill, but just, just work. Take it out later. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not planning on listing or anything. I'm just planning on shooting this, these video clips and packing, mm -hmm. and that's it today. And eating lunch. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Uh, the reason we haven't eaten lunch yet, while I was packing that last round of stuff, Candace was researching some of her brass. Yes, I've been listing the brass and I got to the fire hydrant and score. Okay, so y'all check it out. I took it off the base because the screws are rusted. We're going to replace the screw. Um, it's just screwed into a piece of wood in there, but it's American Darling Valve Company fire hydrant. And... Um, they're dated on the back. This one's 1997. And from what I gathered from researching, they're employee awards. This thing is, you might not be able to it's tell heavy. from the way she's holding it, but it weighs, I already weighed it, it's 3.62, right? Yep. It weighs uh, over a little over three and a half pounds. You can that... see it's like solid brass, and then they put this gold overlay or whatever over it. This insert, I think, is something they put, This little it's just a little wood piece, just so they could... Um, use that screw because I think the original screw I think it's machined in the bottom mm -hmm. for a machine screw they must have like lost it or something I don't know but yeah I have no clue so all the all the okay we found some really good comps and they're all painted there's none in this gold color yeah like there's one that one sold for 200 they auctioned it off and only got one bid yeah um, this one, uh, 13 bids. It went for one twenty four fifty. Oh, and the dates are on the back. So let's look at that real quick. Um, let me find the picture. All right, this one's from 1991. Mine's 97. This one was from, what does that say? 2014. Yep. And then we have another one that sold for one thirty. Oh, it was on the first image, huh? I can't really read it. Oh, it was 2007. It yeah. says it on the title. So too. they made these over a long span of time. Um, due to the fact that the only ones we found were painted, we're gonna go, we're gonna shoot for the $200. You know? Yeah, I think so. Why not? You can always go down. You can't go up after it sells. Right. We'll we'll do that. See if we get any hits. Um, I'll have a feeling that these are saved searches. I think so one, too. That I agree. one got 13 bids on it. So I agree. Yeah. I think there's saved searches on this. So we're gonna clean up the little wood base. Um, I think Magic Eraser will take care of this. It just looks like paint or like drywall transfer. And then get a good screw and get it screwed in there nice and tight. And it does have like um, some pitting on the, the um, exterior coating that they put. We're just gonna gently clean it off, get the dust and dirt off and just sell it as is, you know. Let whoever buys it decide if they want to restore it or paint it or whatever. Yeah, it's not in bad condition. No. But I, actually, I think I think the fact that it's not painted is a feature. Yeah, because like I said, um, they're they're very rare anyway, and the few we found were painted. Yeah. So I don't know if the gold award was like the best employee ever. What a score, man! We got so lucky. We like we, that was a garage sale. We that we laying on the ground on a piece of tarp. We weren't we weren't headed to that sale, were we? No, we we were driving by and they were they were just they were still putting stuff out like that. Yeah. And they didn't advertise it. And we just rolled up mm -hmm. and um we got Candace counted. We got nine pieces of brass for fifteen for fifteen dollars, which means we paid less than two dollars for this piece. Yeah. And I knew I told Candace I picked that fire hydrant up. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, okay. And I, I read it. I'm like, okay, this is different. Yeah. I didn't know it was two hundred dollars different though. Yeah, you were thinking maybe fifty bucks or, or something. Some, yeah, yeah, something. I didn't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. So hopefully we get 200 for it. I mean, I know we're going to get over 100. I have no doubt, but I'm hoping we get that 200. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I'm nice. ready, ready some lunch. Me too. Okay, we had lunch. I had to go, actually I had to go buy some boxes. Um, stocked I, up on them. I stocked up. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. So I, I, I guess right there. We talked about, okay. So I know everybody always tells us, use your rafters for stuff. We actually have talked about putting some board or something just for storing boxes um i don't know we'll see it's just a pain you have to get up on the step ladder every time you need a box I don't, yeah we'll see uh, maybe after we sell off some more nutcrackers we can have those kind of discussions buy okay? some shoes please <laughs> look at that well actually we can 
We could probably we can make that smaller. We have sold some. Yeah, oh yeah, we sold a bunch. Yeah. Not lately. Um, but yeah, I got my smalls and extra smalls. Spent like fifty-seven dollars on forty boxes um, over at Home Depot because we have a bunch of UPS stuff to get today too. Yeah. And we're gonna pull a couple at a time. I don't want to get them uh, all of it out on the bench and then knock it over because I need more room to or pack this stuff. Accidentally pack a halo in the wrong package. Well, that too. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> All right, what's the first thing? All right, first thing we're going to pull is a nutcracker. It's a, a pharmacist on 10 Charlie. A pharmacist? Yes. Okay, you want to come help me? Yeah. He's one of the. Oh leaders. boy. I know. What, is he wearing a hat, like a medical hat? That's... That guy has a medical hat. No, I don't, I don't think that's him. See okay. I see a guy with some scales. He's got a yellow hat. Does it say push for something? Push, push for express service? Does he have a squeaky toy on his head? No, he, he does. It's got, yeah, it's got a yellow hat with a red squeaky on top. Yeah, why, does it, why does a pharmacist have a squeaky toy? You know, like the old time you go to the counter. Oh, and what, and you press on the pharmacist's head and it would squeak? No, I do not know that. You do not know I that? I do not know that. <laughs> I don't know why I said don't know that like that. All right, there we go. Yep. He's weighing some seaweed. <laughs> I see that, but I, I mean, I understand everything going on there until you get, until you have the... Because he doesn't have a counter for his uh, bell, so they put it on his head. Ding! I think it would look cooler if he had a bell on his head. Ding! Uh, <laughs> um, that's all for, hold on, let me pull up the... That's all for one fifty-seven and 49 cents. Yeah, we put a... Uh... 10%. We, we, Candace finally let me run a 10% offers on the Nutcrackers, and we don't want to discount them in July like right. seriously discount them but I thought a little 10% I don't call 10% a discount I call it more of a nudge yeah <laughs> so yeah all uh, pretty much all the nutcrackers sold on discount mm -hmm. the 10% yep. discount thing and then the next thing we're gonna pull right now is some shoulder pads on 7 alpha okay I like it when those sell Let's see. That's eight alpha shoulder pads. We have we have a several different sets. Okay, and I've got inside of the shoulder pads I'm pulling. I've got some car mats. Oh, get out of there! Yeah. yeah. Watch my crackers. Oh, watch my watch Candace's crackers. <laughs> All right. I know it's yeah you got to be careful coming through here why are you bouncing there because I got short stubby legs that's what happens when uh, I okay. go backwards yes. all right so uh this actually Candace this is Candace's deal here negotiation there. Candace's little weird negotiation where the the seller said uh yeah I need uh I want 10 or 20. she goes I want 10 or 20 I'm like I'll take the 10. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, she she did say these cost like three fifty new, and they did. I, we looked them yeah. up. We paid ten, and we sold them for one twenty, hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah. So that was was pretty good. And I like these because they're easy to pack. Because like basically, I'll pro I just bag it. I'll put it in one of those big clear garbage bags that aren't really garbage bags, and uh, and put it in a box. Nothing else necessary because. If it can't withstand getting shipped like that, you wouldn't want your kid wearing them anyway. You don't want to wear them. Yeah. I feel I kind of feel the same way about helmets to a certain extent. Right. You know. So if let me get these get guys. Can't get there without cracking it. I don't want it. <laughs> right. Let me get these packed and we'll do some more. Well, I was about to start packing, and then Candace said, "Uh, uh, I want to brag." So I go ahead, my, brag away, lady. Remember my free horse? It is a briar, and it's worth forty dollars. <laughs> yep. I it's could, in great condition yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, it's still got a saddle, which comes off, so that's amazing. It's also amazing. A lot of times, the chain is either missing or broken. I've never seen a briar horse with all those accoutrements. Yep. Like that. I've only seen them like bare, bareback, and no chain. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yep. That is a nice one. He though. is cool. So yeah. yeah, I'm about to pop that sucker up on eBay. Pop that sucker. There <laughs> we go. All kind of goodies today. Yeah. And then you, um, and we aren't even into the Kevin Danielle stuff. No, this is our garage sale stuff. So that, what have you, what have you done with that? Because so, I, I came over here and I was, I, 
I didn't guess touch I, it. I guess I should have showed before I did it. This, um, so that the bottom, it goes up through this base and then inside of here is a piece of wood that the screw goes into and it was kind of stripped out from age. So I just, I stuck some toothpicks up in the hole and then dropped a little um, Gorilla super glue in there. Smart. And then screwed the screw back in there. So um, hopefully that holds. So we're just gonna leave it sitting there till tomorrow and then we'll check it. Okay. Yep. Okay, got those two packed right there. Let's do a couple more. All right, I like this next one. 10 Charlie is the Pied Piper. He's one of the first ones I listed, I think. So he's gonna be in the back? I think. He's all in red. <sighs> uh, is that Robin Hood or is that Pied Piper? That's Pied Piper. That is him? He's not oh, he's got a pipe. Some and we think this guy's going well we know he's going international but we, we think, think he's going to germany he's going home yeah i'm coming home <laughs> coming home <laughs> we saw that one for 225 okay nice one all right on one alpha uh chief black hawk one alpha yeah oh it's gonna be up yep. his headpiece is separate oh good is that him? Yeah. Wait. So, wait. The feathers don't come off? They do. Oh. I thought I'd take them oh. off, but then I remembered I put him in the front. Oh, I thought I had to ship them like, ah! Is it okay? <laughs> okay. Please. Please. Uh, a little less cultural appropriation would be nice. What? Thank you very much. You're in here doing a rain dance. I think it comes off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because if it didn't, that would have been a big problem there, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, he looks funny without the hair thing, the headdress. Look, yeah. he's got the mohawk. Like, he's got a mohawk earring. He sold for one seventeen. He's got teeth around his necklace. I see that. Teeth of what? Some kind of animals, fangs. Okay. All right. Let me get these guys packed. All right, just to prove to y'all I am not that stubborn, y'all can see I have a spear that I wrote spear on, and then I have a headdress in this little box, and I wrote headdress on the both sides, just in case they don't see the side that it's written on first. So, uh, I'm not so stubborn that I won't start labeling some of that stuff. Okay, the old ups pile is growing. It's going to get about twice as big as that, too. Yeah. All right, the next one is on 10 Charlie. It's Croc from Peter Pan. I saw him a minute ago. I was like, I'm coming for you, buddy. This one is really cool. Yeah. The way they the, the way they stylize the snout. And his clothing is just yeah they did wonderful crafts craftsmanship on him they did a great job with they this did. one they really did i like that one a lot um 180 is what that one's all for okay and then 12 alpha dash one okay uh we have a barrister nutcracker probably box. gonna probably gonna have to go get the uh it's gonna be in should be over here right yeah, right here oh start one oh we read like chinese yeah right to left Okay. The, uh, you need the step stool, yeah. Would you grab it? Yeah. Okay, it's right here. Got it. Candace is down here helping me. And barrister. Woo -hoo. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Make sure you put them with their names pointed out. I don't think you are. Uh, okay, let me put these back. Uh, how much? How much did they sell for anyway? That one, so you uh, remember? Same as Croc 180. Huh? The same as the Croc 180. Oh, they both sold for 180. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The really nice thing. Well, the money's nice. Don't get me wrong. Money's very nice. But uh, another good thing is all this big stuff going out means that we have more room for the stuff we've been buying, like crazy people. Yep. Now he's not ready to go. Okay. I just had them tied up so when we took them down, they didn't. It's like a clamshell. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to pop open or whatever. I'll, I'll pop it open and uh, yeah. get it all packed up. What a day, y'all. What a day. Good day. Um, Ooh, it's 5 11 and still packing. Yep, I got two more. 
And we can bring stuff to ups uh, up stores late as seven o'clock, right? I, I hope. Let me double check that. But double check because if, if that's not accurate, we need to go ahead and bring then it. we'll go ahead and bring what we got. We'll bring the other ones in the morning. I know the one in Baton Rouge is seven. Let me check the one out here. Okay, actually it's six thirty that we can bring them to. So wait, and I'm sure they don't want us walking in the door at six twenty nine. No, I mean we'll try and get there about. But let, let's go ahead and pull these things so we can pack them. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, first item is two speakers under the bench. CBX Soundfield, $55. Yep, got these from uh, Kevin and Danielle last time, not the buy we did yesterday. Yeah. I used that uh, free amp one of the customers tried to return to me tried to return to Amazon I guess and sent it to me instead right um, to test these so I did actually test these what else we got uh, Chesapeake Chesapeake Bay Navigator Nutcracker on 10 Charlie yeah this is actually the this is the most expensive cracker we listed right are you listed mm -hmm. and he's back here at the back so let's see okay we actually listed him for 450 I'm gonna set him right there okay I'll let you hold him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we listed him at like 450 and then uh we did the 10% 10 10 offers. Buyer actually offered 350. I'll come back and put him back. 350 and we were like, nah. We're not ready to discount that much. We're not gonna we're all we're gonna do now from now until you know near christmas we'll give them the old 10 percent nudge yeah but, but not that, after christmas. that's about it right uh well we did we did do a little lower than that when somebody bought three yeah of them but uh yeah this guy whew. i think a lot of his parts come off i'm trying to remember let's see maybe okay not. yeah this guy comes off the duck comes off crab comes off that's good don't, his yeah. I bet his hands come off. I bet his other hand comes off too. And this is loose. Okay, good. That's awesome. Awesome. And keep it coming. Get get that sextant. Yes. All right, good. Get that what? It's a sextant. Oh. <laughs> what do you think I said? <laughs> no. All righty, 552 and we are done. Yep. Now we just got to get these suckers at UPS before they close. Yeah. Oh, we got plenty of time. It takes 10. We'll be there by 6 and yeah. then uh, it'll probably take us about five minutes to get these all checked in and yeah. and out of here. But Candace is going to come help me. Yep. At least hold the, hold it, the door. If nothing else, like we, when we both go, Candace will just stay by the door and open and close it. So Because for some reason, that place, the door opens out. I know. And it's not, there's no automatic door. The door opens out. So, so you have to. you're trying to juggle packages and get the door open and get in there before it closes. It's awkward. I mean, it would be really nice if they made it open in. So yeah. you could just push it. But mm -hmm. oh well, whatever. All right. So we're going to get these off. And then uh, that's going to be the end of one heck of a day. Uh, our heck of a sales weekend yeah. here. So we've only sold four things today so far so tomorrow might be a little lighter right which means what more listing more listing that's right we'll see what we'll see what tomorrow holds for us though yeah okay good morning everyone it is um the next day it is tuesday morning yep it is um day two of our vlog and it's candace's half day i'm probably gonna take a few hours off myself at some point but uh candace is planning on working a half day today Yep, I, I've, I've had some things I've been putting off, so I'm taking care of them this afternoon. That's fair, because, mm -hmm. I mean, we worked all weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did nothing but work over the weekend. Um, we had uh, we had some good comments and questions in the past couple of videos, so we pulled three of them out to talk about this morning. Yep. Um, go ahead, pick whichever one you want to do first, Candace. Pick one. Okay, the first question is from Brian Henry. It's regarding that new T-Mobile internet that we've been started using. Um, he says, is that little black box all of it? I assume your devices in the shed connect via wirelessly to it, but where is the outbound signal going to from the shed? What is the path to the T-Mobile network? 
I asked because one of my pole barns is too far to connect the house to the Wi-Fi system and I want to hook it up this year for listing out there this winter. Okay, so uh, we showed a we showed our modem. Uh, internet modem for yeah. T-Mobile 5G home internet, which we were trying out at the time. Um, and it, at the time I showed it to y'all, we still had our Starlink hooked up. It, that was hooked up to the network and that's what everybody was using but we had our t-mobile out here just testing it for a few days worked great so canceled starlink yep and um we're gonna sell the equipment we're gonna sell the starlink equipment on ebay now mm -hmm. and fortunately it looks like it sells for about what we paid for it which is 500 dollars. yeah so uh we're not gonna lose any money on that but um we did move that T-Mobile uh, modem to the house. And what we use, because it's kind of spread out, we've got the main house and then we've got uh, the shed, and then we've got like a uh, mother-in-law type apartment. And what we use to get the Wi-Fi or the internet around are these little cheap black, uh, not black, cheap white boxes like that. Mm -hmm by nova it's a it makes a mesh network and uh we have the incoming t-mobile signal going into one of them one of the nodes and then the mesh network takes care of the rest of yeah, it so basically it travels from little white box to little white box and right we have them spread throughout our property here right. and in the house in different rooms and yeah and it, it works pretty well i mean there are some um there are some runs that are a little challenging, but it works pretty well. And it's pretty cheap too for, for what it is. And like, here's the app. You can see uh, we have five nodes and there's like one device on that node, two on that one, three on that one, four on that one, one on that one. So that's what we use. That's how we spread the signal around. Of course, you have to have power at each node um, and his question was, um, like, what, what what happens to the outbound, um, like, when you're uploading? It, I'm assuming it goes to one of T-Mobile's towers. No, I think what he I think what he was talking about is how do we get the uh, okay. signal around once once it's here. I think that's what. Okay. What is the path to the T-Mobile network? Yeah, but we just take the now we take the Ethernet straight out the back of the T-Mobile uh, modem into, one of those boxes. into our. Yeah. Wi-Fi mesh network and yeah. it, it's working well it's working really well uh, mm -hmm. don't regret it at all so far we'll see how how things progress like I'm, I'm really our daughter our older daughter she likes to game and she hasn't been able to on that Starlink at all like she pretty much just gave up and now she's been playing again yep so that tells you something right there no it's been great mm -hmm. all right next question is from Artin Stitch Toot 9731 Hey Lonnie and Candace, thanks for the videos. You always make me laugh out loud. I was wondering if you have used the AI descriptions and if so, do you like it? I have not heard you mention it yet, or maybe you did, but I watch pretty diligently. Okay, you are correct. We have not mentioned it. Um, no. We, I, As far as I know, um, I think the AI descriptions are only on mobile. The mobile app? Yes, right now. Um, and I have seen in the resale of water cooler, people have posted examples. I have an example yeah, okay. that we can use. Go ahead. So I went on the app and I, and I started making a listing okay. for something that's in the shed here. Um, and just to see what, what it would do. And I already kind of knew because I've seen other people post screenshots in the reseller mm -hmm. water cooler. Yeah. And okay. So Candace, pull up. Pull up uh, He-Man Funko Pop number 43. Okay. 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 And see, and we'll compare the description we have to um, the one that AI made. Okay, so uh, I, I'll have Candace, first of all, read our description for this Funko Pop. Or my description. I listed this. Um, never remove from box. Please see photos for detailed cosmetic condition. And the title does say the what it is. The title does have the size. And that, I, all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that it's a 10 inch and what it is. Okay, well that ain't good enough. No, not for AI. But, no, <laughs> no, that's way too, that's way too simple. 
Now, AI thinks it should be introducing the Funko He-Man. It does say 3.75 inch, but I think I might have selected the wrong thing. Maybe so, yeah. From their catalog or whatever. From the Masters of the Universe franchise, this vinyl figure features an iconic He-Man character and is part of the Pop product line. It was re released in 2020 and is a must-have for any Funko or He-Man collector. And I noticed, like, all the examples I've seen that people have posted of these, it always says must-have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This figure, this figurine, it's not a figurine, also has some unique features, including a glow-in-the-dark effect and is classified as a common release. It is made from high-quality vinyl material and has a model number of 47748. <laughs> Whether you're a fan of the Masters of the Universe or just looking for a new addition to your collectible figures and bobbleheads collection, this Funko He-Man figurine is a perfect item for you. So, is that... Okay, so here's my thought on the whole AI thing. Yes, it gives you beautiful descriptions and fun descriptions. You think? But the details of your item get lost in all the words yeah they get lost in like so if you have condition issues you need to talk about it might get overlooked with all the other word vomit yeah it's it's exactly it's a word salad yeah it's exactly what it's just that's all it is is a word salad and nothing that was written here is going to get somebody to buy it they're going to read that and be like what kind of whoever's looking at that already knows what it is there you know i mean Look, all you need to sell something is make sure that they know what size it is, the condition of it. And what it is. And what it is. Right. I mean, that's your main things you need. And all those details will get lost in all those Yeah, notes. it's hard enough to get people to, to read a few sentences, let right. alone word salad and then dot get all the important information out of it yeah we so, I mean, that remind, like we had a feedback maybe a year or so ago where the there was a positive feedback but they said i wish i would have read the description <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> so there you go and you see how concise our descriptions are and that, that ebay has done a lot of stuff lately that has been kind of good and they're just trying to jump on the ai train and exactly. it's not necessary no. it's not needed there's yeah. other things that need fixing before that. See, I think I think eBay, I think a lot of people, a lot of the big wigs at eBay realize that a lot of people consider them to be like um, the boomer type place to shop, right? Like they don't think young people. No, young people are over on Instagram. And... So they're trying to make it cool and hip. Yeah. You know, like with with the ai descriptions but that's gonna just make it worse the buyers don't know that's what's going on and the sellers i, I think i don't think it's gonna get used I no don't. no I mean, because the thing is even though ai is writing that stuff um if you have an issue with your if you have an issue with your sale because something that ai uh wrote and made a mistake and you didn't catch it right you're, you're responsible yeah, you are still responsible so yeah uh-uh and, and no no not about that stuff yeah. i think that i think it's dumb I, i'm i'm not anti-technology at all i love technology but this is dumb no yeah. it's stupid we've got one more really good question but we're gonna do that after um uh, after we go ahead and pull orders we have i think just ebay Yes, just eBay nine items going out today. Okay, yeah. One big one. Um, yeah. So we're going to pull the eight smaller orders first. Yes. Let's go. One really big one. Oh, no. Okay, Ugh. the first item is a Razor R4. Okay. Ma sure. Case, look at this. I oh, know, it's getting empty. After that, after that multi... Uh... I do have about eight or so brass ones oh my that, gosh that i need to finish cleaning up and list but this is crazy that'll be it yeah okay four or four okay $14.39 okay in the cube chest clock yeah this is the one i bought a little german chest clock i bought for uh two dollars at an estate sale and you can see it has that cracked glass and the buyer actually messaged me and said, hey, since the glass is cracked, would you take 20? I was only asking like 27. 
I'm like, no, and I, that's I, why it's 27. I didn't say it. I didn't yeah. say a reason or anything. I just said, no, no, thank you. Because without and a then, crack glass, what did you say? It's like a hundred dollars. If you have the box. So without the, if it was, if it wasn't cracked, I think this probably would have been about $60. Yeah. So, so it was already a great deal. Uh, see, so I love that because I actually had that um, happen with something else recently. Like we price our stuff according to condition and then somebody will message us and say and point out a flaw and try to get less and like that's why we price it up, <laughs> right it, you know right but yeah i just said no thank you and then two minutes later he bought it at the price we had it at mm -hmm. so yeah but so i don't blame the guy like it's worth taking a shot like i mentioned it yesterday you know you ask somebody for less to take less and they say no and you're like okay and if you're gonna, I'll buy it anyway. I just took a shot. He he had a chance that I would say yes. So I I, I respect that. That seems to be how Macari works a lot too. All right, we got another Razor R53. Man, you didn't, she didn't, she priced these too low. They're all gone. This one sold for $22.49. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> all right, we have a Walmart pen, $155. Okay, I got lucky, got right to it. Um pride it pride but i don't think it's is that that's the right one right my title says american pride yeah well it doesn't say no but this just says pride on it mm -hmm. it does have a flag yeah they're holding the flag and doing the pledge of allegiance i don't think it's the kind of pride they talk about now no they, these pins are vintage that was before that the current pride was a thing Man, remember back in the day when pride used to be standing in front of the american flag america with, <laughs> with your heart with your hand on your heart <laughs> yeah. Different guy in there. Uh, Nine dollars for that one. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I'm proud to be in America. All right, all right, all right. All right. Next item. <laughs> next item is in the tiger drawer. It's okay. a brass crane. I just listed yesterday. Okay. Crane, stork, egret, whatever you, you want. You mean like call a it. bird? Be careful with his beak. Yeah. So, you know what he's doing right now? He just ate a snake and he's know, trying he's to swallow it. <laughs> I love the patina that happened on the base. That green just, I think, adds to the base. Oh, it looks like grass. Yeah. So he sold for $15. He's standing right over on top of a stump? Yeah. That's interesting. That's actually kind of cool. It's a cool one. They actually came in a pair and they also have them in bigger ones too. Um, so that was in that brass lot we bought on Saturday. We paid $15 for everything, and that's what he sold for. Wow. That ended up being a hell of a buy. It did. And you have, well, we talked, I'm not going to, well, we talked about it in the same video, but Candace. It's good to go. I'm going to list it today. Candace is going to list that little guy today. Yep. A little nugget. All right. CC11 spark plugs. A lot of three champion. CC11? Yeah. Three. Three. Brownish color box. Okay, uh, what's the number? 859. That's the ones I thought you might say. Got them. And then it has RCJS. Yeah, a lot of them they have like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's them. $8 for those. Okay. Is that it? No. All right, what's next? Um, CC10. Oh. Wilson baseball glove, A500. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool, eh, man? I know. That's what I thought. It's, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, A500. Yeah, we paid uh, $10. Actually, we bought three baseball items at the same garage sale. Yeah, we paid 10 for each. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, three baseball items at the same garage sale. We paid 10 a piece for glove, another glove. Both of those gloves sold for 40 a piece. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I see the on your screen. Pulling was also there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all for 40. And then on 11 Alpha Marucci duffel bag. Yeah, this. I went ahead and put it in one of the clear bags. And it's all for 40, I'll say. Yeah, so we paid five for that. And. So 25 for everything into $120, right? Exactly. Yep. yep. And it happened in under a week. Yeah, well under a week. We days. just we yeah. just bought the stuff this past weekend. Yeah. So we have one more big thing to pack after this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed now. Okay. Uh, fairly light sales day yesterday, which I was. I always want good sales, but after yesterday's packing day. <laughs> yeah, I packed from morning to night yesterday. Yeah. So. And we got um, the UPS right before they closed. 
Yeah, we went to UPS and it was yeah, it was a. Well, y'all saw. Yeah. It was a day. Yeah, y'all did see. <laughs> it was a day for sure. So when we had somewhat slow sales yesterday, um, I wasn't fretting it too much because I was like, okay, I don't have to pack all day at least for one day. I get a bre reprieve. I don't. I mean, I want. We want to sell, but then. We ended up having a decent day yesterday because of this one thing. This one thing, and it's, it's not going to be an easy pack, but I think I pre-packed most of it for you. I'm trying, okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, it is on uh, 3 Alpha. Yeah, and I'm not going to pull it down yet because I need both hands and stuff. It's this thing right here. And um, what did we, we paid 25 you think, Candace? I think that's what we paid. Yeah, that was the thing where Candace showed it to me and i was like no 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 and, she, and then finally she's like okay and she gave me the look i did it was all in his head y'all i did not give him a look because ultimately i know he's the one that has to pack it so well no i'm glad you did because it yeah it was, like we it is worth it yeah like we're gonna we're making well over a hundred dollars right for me to mumble and grumble and complain for 30 minutes while I'm packing it and then we'll make a bunch of money for it so it's ultimately it's good that you gave me the look <laughs> you gave me the look that said it's we're going to make a lot of money on this yeah so, so it, we ended up selling it for 180 yeah happy with that and it came out beautiful I think no the pictures I'll show some of the photos here because the photos just look fantastic this that wood on black mm -hmm. man that looks great doesn't yeah. it so let me go pull this thing down okay so this is it um this, here's the thing these come off too so we already went ahead and pre-packed one box you can kind of little peek in there we have like a tier here we'll probably put some more padding on top yeah and um all the little fruits are down in there and stuff okay yeah. and then just got to figure out yeah like this comes apart yeah so now we'll just have to put this box with this stuff inside of another box yep yeah fun good times mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah good sale though all right i did not show packing this uh it is packed well though basically i uh bubbled everything up and put it in here and separated it with plenty of packing paper balled up and it's not moving at least not much anyways this is 34 dollars via ups and it's only going to Alabama. It's just going a couple of states away. So I'm glad somebody fairly close by bought it. And look, we have that huge inventory spot right there now. That's pretty cool. All right, Candace needs to leave in about 15 minutes. She's got an appointment, eye appointment. Yep. Maybe I can finally take care of having to take my glasses off on one. <laughs> yeah, she leaves her glasses everywhere. And then she leaves them on top of her head. She leaves them over here. <laughs> She leaves them in the car. She leaves them everywhere. And then whenever I say you need to get some of those little chains, like granny granny chains for the glass, she gets mad at me. So even though she does need them. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> you do need them though. All right, before we uh, sign off for the day, we do have one more question um, we we're going to talk about. It's a good, it's a big question though. So it's not a, like we're, we're going to, it's going to be a few minutes. Yeah. Um, it's from Legion 6546. He wants to know, do you regret, do we regret buying those nutcrackers? They look like they will be very slow sellers and take up a lot of shelf space. Well, he's right about a couple things. Yes. Number one, they take up a ton of shelf space. Look at all this shelf space they take up. Yes. Look, over here, over there, and then not to mention. Over here. Over here. And down to the left. Oh yeah, over here. Yeah, you know, he's right, absolutely right um and they were expensive they we, we paid six grand for all of them yep so so let me ask you something walking through here and looking at all our nutcrackers would you believe that we've already sold 59 nutcrackers no yeah. thank goodness because if we hadn't how where would we be putting stuff then i know you can't tell by looking no back. we have sold 59 um 50 well a lot of a lot of them they were like we sell one, we ship it, and then you were like, you'd list another one and put it right yeah, back in, like yeah. hot, hot bunking, like on a submarine or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we've sold fifty nine of them, and we are in. We have sold a gross dollar amount. Before. Now this does not include shipping. 
shipping or fees. No, sh well, when, when I say it doesn't include shipping, I mean this is the, the selling price. The shipping that the buyer paid. Right. So this is just the sale price. Yeah. Right. The gross sale price, six thousand nine hundred twenty-one. So we're right there at our money back, and everything else is profit from here on out. Yeah, the sixty-nine twenty-one should just about pay the fees. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that we might even be making a little bit of money, but right. then we probably aren't at that point because we probably spent that on uh, big bubbles and stuff like that, right? right. Like, yeah. So we're probably right around break even. So from here on out is clear profit. Um, and but you also have to take into account all the time I had to put into it. Well, sure. Well, so, that's all that all, that applies to everything, though. Yeah. But yeah. So from now on out, we're profit. So once you hit that mark where you have your money back the pressure's off yeah you, know? mm -hmm. you still of course want to sell them I, all <laughs> I, I think i think the fact that they're like you said that there's still so many on the shelves that you know and the this legion person they you know in fairness to them they don't know like they don't know how many we sell we've and it, sold you know you pull and put, you know you ship one or two here and there you don't realize how many you've sold right and I, it's, we didn't, and I'm sure y'all don't. I ha, well, I had an idea of, yeah. of, of approximate. I knew we had sold probably around six thousand dollars worth. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't know exactly how much. So, yeah. and consider this too. Like you do say slow. Well, no, you said very slow sellers. We sold fifty nine, fifty nine nutcrackers that are usually kind of thought of to be a Christmas themed type decoration. Right. In the summertime. Yeah. So, I don't know what y'all call very slow sellers, but I call 59, 59 out of about 200 mm -hmm. of a Christmas type, Christmas Christmasy. I know they're not all Christmas, but... Right, yeah, but that's considered a traditional decoration for Christmas. Right, and, and when we look at the, when we look at the solds for Nutcrackers, most of them, most of it's happening when? November, mm -hmm. right? That fourth quarter, yeah. So... Uh, I don't think that it is fair. I think I think the only part of your statement that is fair is uh, the take up a lot of shelf space. Yes. There's no denying that. Yes. It also took up a lot of capital. Yes. But that's back. And time. That's never coming back. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I don't think it's fair to call them very slow sellers. I just don't. Um, I would call a very slow seller something of like... I would call maybe a slow seller something that takes six months. Mm -hmm. A very slow seller, I think it's got to be like a, a year. year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we don't work on days here, like in this business. Like, yeah. if something sells in two months, we're like, ooh, that was quick. Woo! Right. And I feel a breeze going by that thing sold so fast. You know, like that's, yeah. Mm hmm. Overall, I'm just I'm happy with how oh, yeah. we've done with them, and and I know in the fourth quarter we're gonna see them just flying. Oh out. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, and we're gonna end up making about fifteen thousand dollars on the deal uh, with a bunch of work and a bunch of space and a bunch of capital on our part. Uh, do you regret it? No, because the hard part's done now. I don't regret it either. No. No, not I, at all. I, I would do it again. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would do it again. What? Boy, our luck. We we say we do it again, and we're gonna have we're gonna have an opportunity to buy six thousand dollars worth of nutcrackers. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open Facebook tonight, and there it's gonna be. <laughs> and, you're gonna be and you're gonna be like, hmm, did I really mean that? <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.